Y'all, let me tell y'all. I was um <laughs> right there. I was in Chicago, uh, Illinois in the United States. And I had I was driving a convertible Mini Cooper at the time. And I had the top down enjoying life. Chicago was nice, it was pretty at that time. And I drove through there and it was um I was so afraid that I felt the 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 difference in spirits. Like I know my spirit and I felt that thing that was in like downtown Chicago. It was the worst feeling ever. So I was riding. <laughs> this is the funny part. Y'all, if y'all are just for a moment, just, 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 oh man, like, I was driving at the top down, right? I'm driving, it's all good, and I'm going and see, when I'm driving and doing stuff, God always leads and guides me and tell me what to do. The Holy Spirit say, go left, go right, go down here, go down. So for about two, I know it was about an hour. I don't know how long, it felt like eternity. But I was crying in tears. I said, God, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. So I'm crying in my convertible. And then, um, because I felt the pressure, the thickness, the weight. It just, it just, I just felt it and then i was this too in my life i didn't know about the other uh, sensitivities of the spirit and all this i was learning this was um wasn't even a year it was still less than a year after i just you know god say can't you know like focus this was um um was september 2015 when i just totally just did everything focused on god and then this was this was july august 2016 so it wasn't quite a year yet so anyway i'm driving through chicago downtown and got holy ghost say go left go right go. we are circling this all of downtown going through the neighborhoods going in out the streets downtown next to the water it was it would have been a beautiful sight had i not been crying and, and you know trying to keep myself together but that that energy i knew it was different from god and i didn't want to deal with it so that was the first night day that I was in Chicago and I was like oh my goodness so I was John I said God and I just and I did and, 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 and it never shook and I was like so much an hour or so later then the Holy Ghost was like okay and I was and I was like God Holy Ghost when I turn here are we leaving this place leaving so eventually finally turned down the street and he said you're out of here and I said okay and I drove out of there and that night um and oh, the funny part is while I was driving downtown, y'all, so hilarious. Stay with me here. Yeah, you don't want to lose y'all on this, right? I was driving right at the convertible. <laughs> I was so scared about the the feeling that I was feeling and the, the sensitivity of the spirit, my spirit to what was against God and the principality. Like I can feel all of that, right? Which I know now what it was, but I didn't know then. So I looked in my passenger seat where the Holy Ghost always rides shotgun. He always is my riding buddy. We get in that car and we go, right? That's how when I had my convertible, right? So, oh my goodness. I looked in that seat and it looked like Satan himself was sitting there. I began to cry, but I wasn't going to stop doing what I was hearing. Turn here, go there. It was so much because of my understanding then of what I perceived Satan to be, which was this devil, red devil giving off heat, that was as far as my eyes could see. So spiritually, that's what I saw was to let me know what was what I was sensing was what as far as my knowledge of him was. So that was the first time Satan had visited me. I, it's crazy, but he's visited me since then as well. But because I had scripture when he showed up, it wasn't no fear. It wasn't nothing. I wasn't crying at all. And and um, but anyway, this story is about how John just when I first got saved, and I was like, oh my gosh. So he was sitting there, and I was driving my car. crying I was so afraid I had so much fear but that fear did not take me off course all I knew was holy ghost can we get us so eventually the seat came back normal I no longer saw anything sitting there right so <laughs> so I finally got from downtown right 
And in my life, y'all, if I don't lose y'all here, if y'all still follow me, you know a little bit about me by the time you get this video, hopefully. So at this time, I used to drive and I would go to sleep. My seat would be up and I would be facing, my hands be on the wheel or whatever, but I'm asleep. I'm knocked out. I mean, I could have been in a vision. I could have been in anything, but the Holy Ghost will often drive my car. So it was no different this time after I left from driving in downtown Chicago, as we left the downtown and came into another city in the neighborhood, the suburban area, that the Holy Ghost was um, driving my car. So while I'm asleep, then my spirit says, it wakes me up and he says, wake up, park the car. I wake up. My eyes, oh, now we driving. Now I've been driving for a while because now it's totally dark. It's dark. And by then I had lifted the top and I went to sleep driving, literally. And the Holy Ghost said, and the Spirit, wake up, park the car. Y'all, I woke up and all I saw, my car was headed <laughs> straight. And it was on a street that it was just going um, down. It looked like it was going downtown because all I saw at this time was city lights. Talk about about face and not obeying. <laughs> Holy Ghost was like, go straight. You park, get ready to park the car. Like, drive. Sit up. Wake up. Park the car. So he was leading me where to go. So I was going down this street. Yo. Uh-uh. I told that, I told the Holy Ghost that, I was like, no, it, it wasn't even, like, I literally, it was a conversation because I, I literally, this was talking aloud. That's how strong my, my resistance was. I was like, no, I am not going to. I thought he was leading me back downtown. And I was so afraid. I was so afraid that I was like, no, I whipped my car around, <laughs> the thing in reverse, and I went the other way, found another place. And he let me. He said, okay, go over here, park, go to sleep. So I parked in between two cars, parked, you know, and I laid the back down, laid the, and I just went to sleep, sleeping in the car like anybody else. So um, during this season of my life, I, um, parked the car and he would have me walk cities away from the car and I would live homeless out on the streets where I was so far away from the car I wasn't walking back to it you know anyway so um I would leave the car so at this time so as I began after three weeks I had come familiar with the spirits in Chicago I I, I became um less sensitive or more or stronger and there was no fear of the city anymore. I had been there for three weeks, homeless, sleeping outside, um, laying hands, just moving, doing whatever the spirit. So this time when I get, when I get back to my car and we're driving in his daytime, y'all, he takes me right back to that city where he told me to park the first time. And I said, Holy Ghost, this is where you're It ain't nowhere near the city. We had went miles away, but I was asleep, so I didn't know it. So when I got back in that car, it was daytime, and he drove me right back to that same spot where he awakened me and said, park the car, and I refused because I thought, it's, it's going to the city. We ain't going there, and I turned around with the opposite way. And then, um, so I thank God. I thank, I thank God for everything in my life. I hope you guys, you know, whoever stuck around, I ain't lose in this story. <laughs> but, uh, yes. That was, that was an encounter. My life has, I learned, I didn't have anyone teaching me. I was learning these things on my own. And it says, you know, through the things, Jesus learned obedience to things in which he suffered. And I believe that was one of my moments that I learned a little world. I learned obedience through the things in which I suffered. And when I learned what evil felt like, mm -mm, never had no fear. Never again when he showed up the second time. I was more prepared mentally, physically, well, um, spiritually, and I was more mature. And I knew him. I, I knew what the word said about him, how I described him, what he looked like. And I was, I was, I didn't, I, I was better. So anyway, and that was the last time. It was two times. I got it together. So I thank God for that experience. I thank God for calling me and trusting me to go through the trenches, to go out and do these things. I thank God for trusting me to, um, to I, I thank God for him using this shell right here, this, this body to still accomplish what he wants to do right here in the earth. So I love you guys. Thanks for tuning in as always on your favorite platform at me, at Alwanza. Find me on there. I'm 
you're probably there at me and watch me from your favorite platform. Other than that, like, subscribe, follow, alert, notifications, do it all. Love you guys. Stay tuned for the next one. See ya. Bye.